And so you can't resolve a lot of this inflammatory response without first restoring normal blood flow, circulation, and oxygen delivery to that part of the brain. And that's the beauty of what nitric oxide does. Hi, I'm Kerry Reichbach, the president and co-founder of the Great Team Military Community. You know, after military service, a lot of veterans have a lack of energy, uh, just go into depression and anxiety. And one of the causes of that is that their body is just unable to produce as much of the ni element nitric oxide as they used to. And so, down the road, this often leads to a lack of movement, depression, anxiety, and if left untreated, can actually cause suicidal ideation. So because Gray Team is always interested in moving the needle to benefit veterans all along the path of their return to civilian life, we have uh, the absolute privilege to have Dr. Nathan Bryan with us today. Dr. Bryan is an expert in the field of healthcare regarding nitric oxide, which is an excellent form of elevating the body's energy system. So without further ado, uh, welcome Dr. Bryan. Thank you, Kerry. It's great to be here. It's great to have you. And I think we're really, really interested in how we can elevate our energy systems without obviously sucking down, you know, cases of monster energy <laughs> drink and Red Bull. Well, first of all, congratulations to you and great team. This is such a great initiative. I'm really honored and privileged to, to be a part of it and help you get the message out because, you know, thank you. Um, we have to help those that serve and give the ultimate sacrifice for, for our American way of life. So thank you. And thank you, great team. So yeah, I've, as you mentioned, I've been researching nitric oxide for about 25 years now. We've made a number of seminal discoveries in the field, but in terms of veterans and what we're looking at in post-concussion syndrome and traumatic brain injury, you know, these repetitive micro traumas to the brain causes a lot of inflammation. And then that inflammatory response reduces blood flow to that particular part of the brain. And then obviously if you're not getting enough blood flow to certain organs and regions of the brain, then you develop neurological uh, symptoms, you know, anxiety, depression, a lot of the symptoms that you know, a lot of these uh, veterans present with. Exactly. And so you can't resolve a lot of this inflammatory response without first restoring normal blood flow, circulation, and oxygen delivery to that part of the brain. And that's the beauty of what nitric oxide does. So through these multiple traumas, uh, you know, we, we cause inflammation, what's called endothelial dysfunction. Then there's reduced production of nitric oxide, reduced blood flow, and then the onset of these symptoms. So I love what you guys are doing by this multimodal approach and many different therapeutic applications. And I think where we can help or where I believe we can help is that the foundation for everything you're doing now will become better because once we restore the production of nitric oxide, then everything else we do works better. Obviously it's not an end all be all cure all, but I think everything we do from that point on is gonna be amplified and better endpoints and, and better outcomes because of the improvement in circulation the mitigation and the vascular inflammation and energy production. You know, the other important thing with nitric oxide is it Im improves mitochondrial function and ATP production, which is the currency, the energy currency of the cell. So I think what we can do in terms of helping your program help the veterans is foundational in regard to nitric oxide. And so that's why we're really honored and privileged to be able to partner with you guys and, and provide the nitric oxide to your program. Well, I can't tell you how appreciative we are of that. Um, I'm a U.S. Army grunt, so uh, let's let's kind of break it down Barney style. <laughs> um, nitric oxide in the body is, in my understanding, is a vasodilator, correct? That's right. That's one of its many functions. Okay. So as a vasodilator, it is actually opening up our blood vessels to allow better blood flow, correct? Absolutely. Okay. And and what exactly is that going to do? for our energy production and you know, uh, recovery time, things like that? Well, when you look at kind of our cardiovascular system and how cellular metabolism works, 
Right, so cells need to get the nutrients they need to perform their job, and then they create some waste products from normal metabolism. So you've got to take out the trash, right? And so if you have a compromised cardiovascular system or what we call endothelial dysfunction and insufficient nitric oxide production, you're not getting the good stuff in and you're not taking the metabolic waste out. So then those cells become dysfunctional. So if it's cells in the brain, your neurons, and they don't function, you develop mild cognitive disorder, you develop a lot of neurological symptoms. If it happens in the heart, you don't get enough blood flow to the heart, then you develop a heart attack. So every organ is the same, requires the same metabolic function. So in terms of nitric oxide being released, it dilates the blood vessels, improves blood flow and oxygen delivery. Then the cells actually have what they need to do their job. So they can actually perform better than those without sufficient nitric oxide. But that's just kind of the basics of nitric oxide. But now we know that if you have sufficient nitric oxide, you prevent the monocytes and the white blood cells and the platelets from sticking to the lining of the blood vessel. And that's what happens during trauma and inflammation. And then you basically impede the blood flow to that. So with nitric oxide, you're dilating the blood vessels, you're improving blood flow and oxygen delivery, and you're preventing the inflammatory response that happens from blast trauma, from traumatic brain injury in those cerebral arteries. So it's, it's multifunctional in terms of how it mediates a lot of this trauma that you're seeing in these veterans coming back from combat. That's, that's fascinating, and, and it totally relates to one of our big issues is, of course, traumatic brain injury. Um, many, many people don't realize that something as simple as having a weapon close to your head with repeated cycling of a machine gun or automatic weapon will actually create a cumulative traumatic brain injury. And we're talking about inflammation again, sure. which is one of our enemies here. How, so, so let's, let's take a typical example, young soldier, Marine, 23, 24 years old, coming back from combat, has that multiple cumulative effect of traumatic brain injury. How will we be able to mitigate that damage using a supplement like a nitric oxide in uh, something that accelerates the process. Sure. Well, I'm a biochemist and physiologist, so what our approach is, we have to give the body what it needs and the body heals itself. So in a lot of these soldiers, they're missing the basic healing mechanisms of the body. I think that's where allopathic medicine and standard medicine fails because you know, they give drugs, anti-anxiety, antidepressants, and that's mm -hmm. really not giving the body what it needs to heal. So for that repetitive concussive trauma, we have to basically restore the blood flow, mitigate the vascular inflammation, and then allow the body to, to heal itself. And obviously that involves good nutrition. You know, many people come back and most, and this has been known for hundreds of years, that most chronic diseases are caused from nutrient deficiencies. Absolutely. So if your body's missing an essential nutrient, then even if we open up the blood flow, you're still deficient in something. So, um, but to the contrary, if you're taking good nutrition, but yet you have kind of some constricted blood vessels and not sufficient blood flow to the brain, then those nutrients aren't going to get to the part of the brain that's where, where it needs it. So by starting with nitric oxide, we open up kind of the superhighway to allow the adequate delivery of the nutrients through good nutrition. And then we give the body what it needs and it heals itself. And we reduce the in inflammation we reduce the immune dysfunction and oxidative stress that's a hallmark of these traumatic brain injuries. That makes perfect sense. I guess my next question then would be uh, for those that are out there um, dealing with issues like these, you know, there are certain foods uh, that probably contain higher levels of nitric oxide, but most of us really aren't that great on our diet, especially so coming back from military service. You know, we've, we've eaten highly inflammatory foods. I'm not even going to go into what MREs contain. <laughs> right. So in order to elevate our levels of nitric oxide, are there specific foods and would we have to eat, you know, pounds and pounds of those? Or is it easier uh, to ensure that we have adequate levels of nitric oxide by taking a supplement? Well, that's a very good question. But let me first, by preface saying that nitric oxide is a gas. Right? Okay. It's a gas and it's produced in the lining of the blood vessels, it's produced in the neurons. And then once the body produces, it's gone in less than a second. So there are a number of products out there and, and a number of, you know, for diet, for instance. Green leafy vegetables, for example, contain a molecule called inorganic nitrate that the body then converts into nitric oxide gas. But that's dependent upon a lot of things. 
eating enough green leafy vegetables, you have a good oral microbiome to metabolize that, and stomach acid. So we know that most 200 million Americans are using mouthwash, so you disrupt that. 200 million prescriptions are written for antacids. So the whole point is you can take diet, you can take supplements, but the body's lost its ability to convert those into bioactive nitric oxide. That's, that's a huge, huge thing. I, I know uh, I, I don't want to gloss over that because it's something that we talk about all the time that if one system of the body isn't working properly, it's dominoes falling down right. the chain. Now, I don't want to go into the weeds too far here, but uh, when you're using something like Listerine, which takes has alcohol, oh, in yeah. it, okay, you're actually killing certain bacteria that are beneficial. And for those of you that want minty fresh breath, there are all are alternatives many alternatives that you can use rather than, because what you're actually doing is you're wiping out certain things that you need to process specific nutrients, which are going to help you stay disease free and to heal quicker. That's right. So we can go into that in a, in a whole other segment, but that's something that I want you to always think about before you're taking something that, that really, really isn't good for your body, although most people think it is. No, that's so a very good point. Let's go back to people eat beets um, and they say, well, beets have nitric oxide in them, but they actually no, they don't. don't. That's right. So can we talk about that? Yeah, of course. You know, there are a lot of beet products on the market. There are a lot of nitric oxide products in the market. And I test typically all of these. I have a number of issued patents, so we have to make sure nobody's infringing. The other thing is that you know, 95% of those beet products on the market don't work. So they contain no inorganic nitrate, uh, no nitric oxide activity whatsoever. So buyer beware. And, and I think that's part of the problem. Consumers are confused because there's so much misinformation out there in terms of products. Uh, but, you know, I think we've, part of our claim to fame is how do you, and, and really the, the limitations or the struggles in developing a safe and effective nitric oxide product is how do you make a bioactive gas in a solid dose form. And that's where my discoveries have come in. So we make an orally disintegrating tablet. So as this lozenge is dissolving in your mouth, and we designed it to have about a five minute resident time. So as that matrix is falling apart and dissolving, we're generating nitric oxide gas. We can quantify it, we can verify it, we can detect it. So the whole concept was when we did this, if your body can't make nitric oxide, then we have to do it for you. We can't okay. give you these substrates and metabolites because your body's unable to convert that into bioactive nitric oxide. And I think that's the problem in people with, with chronic injuries, chronic inflammation, traumatic brain injury, is they've lost the ability to, to make nitric oxide on their own. So with this lozenge, we actually do it for you, but it's, it's more than that. So we make nitric oxide, it's vasoactive, it's biologically active, but we also understand the enzymology to the extent that we actually improve the body's own ability to make nitric oxide. So now, we've got a system whereby when you take this, we can see dilation of the arteries, we can see an improvement in cerebral blood flow, and we're fixing the vascular inflammation that occurs in these uh, veterans with traumatic brain injury. That, that's absolutely amazing. Uh, I wanna point out something here. Uh, Dr. Bryan is actually donating uh, quite a huge amount of this for our veteran population to begin the healing process. and. And I think, you know, many of you who are not veterans are probably wondering, well, is this going to help me in my everyday life? And I'm sure the answer to that is. Absolutely. So I really have some great news for you today. Uh, you know, Great Team has partnered with some amazing technology providers from all over the planet. And I am so pleased to tell you that our 24th technology partner is Brian Nitraceuticals and they will be doing a special deal. I'm gonna let Dr. Bryan tell you about that. Thank you, Kerry. We're very excited to partner with Great Team. So what we found in 20 or 30 years of research is nitric oxide is not only important for people with post-concussion syndrome, traumatic brain injury, but even for those of us interested in wellness and prevention. So for instance, I'm 49 years old, I'm, I'm healthy, no, no symptoms whatsoever but I take this every day to prevent this age-related decline in nitric oxide production. So this product will not only help the veterans that are coming in with some severe problems, but also people who are interested in their own health and well-being. 
So what we've done in, in, with Great Team is if you go to no2u.com and you purchase this product and you use the coupon Great Team, that's G-R-E-Y-T-E-A-M, then with every purchase that consumers make, we're going to donate one bottle to Great Team. So not only the veterans are going to get the benefits of this at no cost through your program, but we're also going to give the consumers a discount when they purchase this in using the Great Team coupon. So there's nothing better than helping those who serve us and give us the freedoms that we are afforded today by living in America. So I think if you wanna help, we're obviously committed to helping you guys and creating the awareness and helping you scale and, and reaching and saving more lives. Um, but in the meantime, we can help other people with their own uh, kind of health and well-being. It's so incredibly generous. Uh, I, I can't thank you enough. I think that you know you, you've created a product that really is going to help not just America but the world. Well, thank you very much, Carrie. And again, I can't thank you enough for for what you guys are doing. But you know, we're very excited. Our, our nitric oxide lozenge, the NO2U lozenge, is our flagship product. It's a daily nitric oxide support, so typically one lozenge in the morning, one in the evening. But we continue to bring innovative nitric oxide products to market. We've recently developed a really innovative and great uh, fermented beetroot powder called NO Beets. So people like people understand and, and like the benefits of beets, uh, but as I mentioned, most of these products don't work. So now we've taken our fermented beet product, which generates nitric oxide gas, similar to the lozenge, but we've taken the beet color, the beet pulp, the beet taste, and the oxalates out. So a really great product. We've, you know, my objective now is to bring nitric oxide technologies into every major market segment around the world. We've done this in nutrition, we've done it in supplements, we have a skincare line at n101.com. And most recently, we have uh, FDA drugs in clinical trials for COVID, ischemic heart disease, Alzheimer's drug, and a topical for, for diabetic ulcers. So we're really, really excited about the future of nitric oxide research and not only our drug program, but really getting this product technology in the hands of people uh, that could use it. And I, I have no doubt that this technology will change the world. So uh, thank you again, Kerry. It was my pleasure to have you. Uh, I feel much more educated than I than I did before, and I can't wait to try uh, to elevate my own nitric oxide levels. As always, I want to thank you if you've watched up to this point for your attention. Thank you for your continued support of the Great Team Military community, and we will see you soon.